Hello world, welcome to a new video about Ecuador. I'm Luis of Ecuador, my full name is Luis Velasquez Pasmin. And I make videos about life in Cuenca, life in Ecuador. So if you're interested in knowing about what's going on here, what's the situation, how's life, daily life here, I recommend you to stay in this channel, watch this video and subscribe, watch the other videos because I know you will find something that is of your interest. Okay. In this occasion, I'm going to share with you some stuff that is going on in my life right now. Some things I have been thinking about in the last couple of months. And also I want to share with you, as I share these things, views of Cuenca, but of a, an area in Cuenca that is not shared by many because first, this is not an area where uh, foreigners live. And secondly, because it's just the end of town. So it's also not, as residential as others. We are perhaps, I don't know, six miles away from downtown and we are in the southwestern or in the most, we are in the southwest of town. We are actually in the end of the city of Cuenca. This area is called Control Sur. Today I was in an event organized by the tourist front of Azuay, Frente Turístico de Azuay, at this cafeteria, Pachi's Cafe and Bar. It's a very nice cafe. So if you are someday in this area, I invite you to come here and have some good coffee. But I wanted to share with you also how this area looks, because this is the southwest of the city. Here, the city finishes. You can see on the screen the map of Cuenca and where I am located right now. This is still the urban area of Cuenca, but we are just next to some rural areas of Cuenca. Tarqui and Baños. Baños, spelled that way, as you can see, in Spanish it means baths. And this area of Cuenca, which is in the lower section of the mountain, right at the bottom of this mountain, is called Baños because of the hot springs that you find there. Very nice hot springs, and that is an activity you should take into account when you come to Cuenca. Or if you live in Cuenca, every now and then you should come here. I know there are... I know people that go there even once a week. So it's very popular, it's not that far, and you can get even with the local buses. And the bus fare is now 30 cents. It will increase soon, maybe, to 40 cents, we don't know. But at this moment it is 30 cents, and it's been like that for about eight years. If we go that way, down there, we just continue directly to Machala or Loja, and to the border with Peru. The closest border is four hours away, depending on how you drive, and you go there that way. But this way is the Pan American Highway to Quito. And this, all of this is Control Sur. Parish of Baños, that way. Parish of Tarqui, that way. And Parish of Turi, this way. And by the way, up there, you have my favorite viewpoint, which is El Calvario. El Calvario. And it is one of the five viewpoints of the Parish Turi. You can find here new houses, old houses, new buildings, new buildings that are still being finished. And I know this area will be very different in 10 years because it's been growing a lot. Cuenca has four rivers and the parish Tarqui is named Tarqui because of the river Tarqui that crosses through it. Here we have many buses. This is just the end of town. And here you can take also the buses that go to Machala, to Loja, to Saraguro, all of that southern area of Ecuador. And this way, I can take a bus that takes me downtown. But this time I'm not taking a bus. I want to share some words with you about what's happening in my life because I'm realizing so many, so many things and I'm trying to do so many things, but I'm not doing many things in the end. So I wanted to share this with you to get also some ideas about what you may think and you could even share some opinions. Uh, I'm going to walk to the first stop of the tram, or the first station, which is Rio Tarqui. Again, because of this river Tarqui. As you may see, it's sunny, but I'm with a jacket. Why is that? Because you never know. You could have, in just 15 minutes from now, rain. It could happen. Or it could get hotter, which is the most, which is the most likely right now. But even though, 
I'm very used to this. And you will see also many people who have, who wear sweaters all the time, jackets. It's pretty common here in Cuenca. I know many of you will find this unusual, but it's very common. And also because the sun here is so hard, we are in the equator of the planet, we are in the Andes, so the sun here is stronger. You need to be well covered. And well, the Tourists from Azuay is an organization here in, in the province of Azuay, and Cuenca is the capital of Azuay, that promotes tourism here, but not only tourism, it's actually that promotes dynamization of the economy through tourism. So in the meetings that they organize and the assistance they give, they work with all type of businesses, not only tourism businesses. Because if someone opens a tourist business here, that person will need the assistance of many providers. From the builders, if they are building something, legal assistance to establish a business with all legal requirements. And for example, attorneys for that, they don't need to be professionals in tourism. Uh, they will eventually need people who clean, handymen, or other type of suppliers that do not need to be professionals in tourism. So the tourist front is trying to bring together as many people as possible to work together. And that's what has made me also venture into tourism. I think this activity can help in the economy of millions, regardless of what they have studied or not, or what their profession is. These are deep thoughts I always have. I mean to this, not because this is the only way I saw to make money. I mean to this because I can see a long-term goal that, that will help many. But it's been difficult, especially since January, when all of the internal armed conflict in the country started. Many people have canceled their trips, many people have stopped coming. Now in May, it looks like activity is reactivating. I've been trying to do many things. Oh God, this is beautiful. Just, just watch at these mountains. Up there, up there is the National Park Cajas. That's the tram, this is the first station of the tram. Many people out of Ecuador watch when they know something about Ecuador, when they hear something about Ecuador on the news these days, lately. It's been the worst of the worst that Ecuador is super dangerous, that there is a lot of violence in Ecuador. And I mean, who would want to come here? But on the other hand, people who end up coming, they have a great time. They enjoy, they really like what they see, what they do. And I mean, I see that every week, not as frequently as before, but I would like that it is a frequent thing, a more frequent thing, maybe like every day. So lately I have been working in many things, in legal assistance with people relocating, but that also got reduced by a lot. So it's difficult. I work in legal translations, legal translations for people coming to Ecuador to do their paperwork for immigration purposes, or also I do legal translations for people leaving Ecuador, getting out of Ecuador to do their immigration process to another country. And 90% of these translations are for people going to the United States of America. I know it is too noisy, so I apologize if it is extremely noisy, but I really wanted to share this with you because I feel motivated after this meeting with the tourist front of Azuay, talking with other entrepreneurs, people who are struggling, but people who are dreaming and doing something to achieve their dreams here. Well, besides legal assistance and translations, I also work in tourism. That, that's actually my main thing. If you look for my name, you will find me more like a tourism promoter, national tour guide. That's what I do the most. Since tourism has been so low, I have been doing other things. Now, some of you know that I have another channel, which is Build Dev Tours. That's the channel for the tour operator, and that's the channel for promoting Ecuador. That's the channel for promoting tourism. I talk there about nature, culture, and here I can talk about these things, but many other things as well. So if you're not subscribed to the other channel, subscribe, because now in June, I will start launching videos again there.
Also, I talked there about uh, immigration, paperwork immigration processes. So if you're interested in that part, subscribe to the channel. Five minutes for the next trend to come. I'm doing many things, but I need to focus. I am realizing just now that I can't do everything. That's simply not possible. I'm trying to do many things that in the end I don't do one good. And I would like that to be tourism. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to say that it is possible to focus only on that at the moment because tourism is low. And it's not only my business, many businesses. So, I'm trying to do many things, but in the end, I'm not good at one because I'm trying to do many things and I simply can't. However, if tourism is so low and I don't get enough income through it, I have to do something else. That's why some people that may have contacted me, written me regarding tours, it takes me a while to answer because I'm doing other activities as well. And I'm making this video to share this with you, to know your opinion. Maybe some of you are experts in business or in tourism businesses uh, or simply experience in life. So I would like to know from your point of view what I should do. Maybe you can give me some advice. Maybe you have free time and live here in Ecuador or in Cuenca and would like to do something with me. My main idea for the moment is to bring up more videos so that you could watch more about Ecuador and after you feel like you really want to come here, do it. Because I know many are, and I have received the messages, that mm, I don't know, mm, doesn't look like a good idea going there right now. But everyone who has come, who has taken a tour, even just recently, they have enjoyed it, they have loved it. Yes, there are some areas where we have to be extra cautious, especially in the coastal region. Does that mean that you cannot go there? Not exactly, yeah, you could go there, but you have to be extremely cautious. And I wouldn't be able to tell you, like, go on your own and, yeah, it's safe. Because it's not extremely dangerous, but it's not totally safe. Is Cuenca totally safe? Mm, no, but it's way safer. But is New York City safe? Not really, it is. There, there is risk everywhere. Now in Cuenca, not so much. And that's also why I like making videos out on the street, so that you see a little bit more of it. In a dangerous city, in a dangerous town, do you think I could record and be so calm? You will see soon a video on Guayaquil. I recorded one about two years ago, but it's too old to post it now. I have lots of videos, lots of material but that I haven't shared. Not because I don't like it, but just because I haven't had time to it. Anyway, I was just wanted to share with you that I am here, that I have a project with tourism to promote Ecuador to the world so that more people here can make a living here without having to leave. Because one of our main issues right now is migration. People leaving, especially to the United States, looking for dollars. Because here, we don't have enough job opportunities. The economy is very low. Yeah, Cuenca is beautiful. Cuenca is peaceful. And you live well, let's say. But if you want to plan for the future, if you want to plan long term, it's very difficult. That's why many people are leaving. But also there are people who can even make ends meet. I want that to stop. And that's why I keep working on this. To promote, to develop economy here. Please subscribe to this channel, to the other channel, Build Dev Tours, and to the social media as well. Build Dev Tours, B I L D V T O U R S, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. You will find interesting things there also where in, when I have a tour, you will see it there. And on this channel, remember that we talk more about other types of events as well news, politics, risk, and I am as honest as possible. So, if you want that, stay here. I'm not saying that I'm Build Dev Tours, I'm not honest, but it's just that I focus on nature, culture, tourism. Again, if you feel like volunteering, giving me ideas, 
if you have ways in that you think that you may help, please let me know because I'm open to many things and I will work on keeping this working. And I will work on growing this because this is a live project. Let me know what you would like to see in the future, what you would like that we discuss here, and I will discuss it. Thank you very much for watching the video till this point, and see you in the next video. Greetings from Cuenca, greetings from Ecuador, and hope to know from you. Bye bye.